Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. I did not expect. I did not expect that. Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Canva's brand new Magic Studio. Magic Studio is a suite of AI enabled tools to help you with your designs. But the real question is, are they really magic or are they kind of meh? I can tell you the answer is yes. Some of these tools are amazing. Some of them I think you can do without. Let me show you what I mean. So here we are in Canva. You have to be on the pro version of Canva to check out Magic Studios designs. But the first thing I noticed right off the bat was these really fun trails on my mouse when I navigate over the new Magic Studio header. So already I was excited to try this. Let's start by creating a custom design. And I'm just gonna go in with the video aspect ratio because that's the format I'm used to working in. And to start taking a look at these tools, I'm going to drop in an image right into my canvas. So for the photo editing components on this to access these tools, you need to drop in a photo, select it and head up to edit photo. And let's start with the background remover. This one actually isn't that new, but if you haven't seen it yet, it is pretty cool and easy peasy. We've cut the subject right off the background. Now Canva won't let me undo that. So I'm just going to drop in the image again. Let's go back up to edit photo. And let's try erasing this guy instead. So I'm going to brush over him and it did an okay job. I can still see some remnants of our subject. The next one let's check out is magic grab. This one allows me to reposition my subject in the shot without having to use any selection tools like you might use in Photoshop. Watch this. To me, this is a standout feature on this new Magic Studio suite of tools from Canva. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen this. Adobe's been doing this as well, but it is nice to see this kind of AI technology available to maybe more of the masses who use Canva as opposed to like experts who use, let's say, Photoshop. I'm going to delete these images and let's drop in another photo, this time of this bird, so I can show you some more of the tools. Again, we're going to go up to Edit Photo. And this time what I want is for this greenery to fill my entire 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So I'm going to reach for the magic expand tool and it's going to ask me, do I want to freeform or do I want to fill the whole page? I do want to fill the whole page and it starts generating four options for me and I can just click around and see which one I like best. It's kind of hard for me to decide which is the best option here because it's continued the bird's feathers to an unrealistic length. And you can also still see the original border of the image. Can you guys see that? On pretty much all of the takes here. So what I would probably do is go back with a blur tool and try to soften that up a little bit. But I'm going to say that number three is our best option. I mean, while it's not perfect, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to give this one a B. Let's hit done to save that. And again, I'm going to go back to edit photo and I'm going to show you another really interesting tool called magic edit. So what magic edit wants you to do is to draw over the area that you want to modify. Now, one of the things you might notice is that my image has become distorted. Don't worry about that. When we're done with this process, it will go back to its normal proportions. I'm going to hit continue. And then I'm going to type in a command for how I want to modify this photo. So I'm going to type in make these feathers red and yellow and let's select generate. And again, it's going to provide four different looks for me to choose from. And I can click through which version I like. I would say this one kind of looks the most realistic. I don't know. I'm not completely sold. Yeah. And you can see that it didn't really grab all of the feathers on this bird. I've lost the eye and I guess I should have done a better job brushing out around the eye. It's okay. I'm going to give this a C. Let's try it again with a different image. So I'm going to delete this entire image and I'm going to bring in this cute dog. And I'm going to go back to edit photo. Let's first and foremost see what happens when we magic expand this because we're only seeing part of the dog. And I'm just curious if it's going to know to generate the rest of the dog. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. I did not expect. I did not expect. Okay. Okay. I think this dog, correct me if I'm wrong, is a collie and they've 
they've added the back of the dog to be like, I don't know if that's like a Pomeranian or something, but I have to say this, it's not like genetically accurate, but it's awesome. I, I'm sorry. I am so, I'm so surprised by what Canva did here. I, I'm really having fun. This was great. Okay, I'm gonna select this last picture. I think it's really good. And what I wanna do is edit this photo again. Sorry, I gotta compose myself. Let's do the magic edit and I want the fur to be curly. Let's see if we can do that. So I'm gonna select all this fur. I'm gonna hit continue and let's ask it to make the fur curly. Guys, while we're waiting for these images to generate, if you like this video, let me know. Give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Oh my God, I am thoroughly entertained. I mean, A plus for entertainment value, for actual accuracy and practicality, I'll give it a, I'll give it a B. I just, I really, that was fun. That was really, really fun. All right, sorry, let's keep it moving here. As much as I enjoyed that, I need to show you the next tool. I'm gonna drop in this YouTube thumbnail that I made for my other YouTube channel. And let's go back to edit photo. And Canva claims that I can actually grab text from an image. So this is all one piece here. This composition is not from individual elements that I built here in Canva. This is a JPEG. Let's select the grab text tool. It grabbed the text. Oh, and I can modify the fonts. Hey, that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna pick random fonts here. But my question is what happened to the image underneath? Yeah, it did grab the text and that's awesome but it really muddied up some of the stuff that was happening here in the background. It did not do a great job of preserving the background image at all. So that is unfortunate. So depending on your background, you might be okay with this tool, but for something where I had a lot of gradients and other images like stacked on top of each other, I would say this is not great. I'm, I'm gonna give it a C. I'm gonna delete this image and I'm going to show you another interesting new tool in Magic Studio. Let's head on over to Elements. And here is an AI image generator. So let's generate our own image. And I'm going to type in a very random prompt. So I've given this the prompt that I wanted to see a woman brushing her teeth and hair at the same time. I like this prompt because it's something that might be a little bit hard to find on the internet, but not completely unrealistic. Okay, this is alarming. Look at her teeth. And why does this toothbrush have two bristled ends and then what is going on with this toothbrush and she has one two three four five she has six fingers one two three oh god this is this is alarming what about this one i don't like this these are these images are disturbing these look like scenes out of some sort of sick horror movie i didn't think that this prompt would be that crazy and these are wild photos that I don't on some like visceral level upset me I get to close out of these I get to get rid of these I never want to see these images again I'm gonna go back to canvas homepage and let me just show you a few other features of magic studio there's a new feature called magic switch which says it effortlessly changes the size and format of your design so for instance if you had a youtube thumbnail and you wanted to make it an instagram post but also reconfigures them and have the layout still make sense so here's a thumbnail i actually made here in canva so these are all individual pieces that i've uploaded to canva let me head up to the top of the screen here where it says magic switch and i'm going to go to resize and let's just make this a square configuration so I'm like floating over here. This background image is cropped off. I don't think this did an exemplary job of reconfiguring my image. Canva already had a resizing tool and I feel like the results were exactly the same. I might resize the canvas and then reposition things around. I don't feel like this tool is doing anything different from that. I'm still gonna have to make a ton of adjustments to this. So I'm gonna give this one like a D. There's another tool here called Magic Morph. And for most of these tools, if you want to try them out, they give you instructions about how to play with the tools. But the thing about these examples is that obviously they're going to play to Canva's strengths. And I'm really interested in like what happens after you play with this tool and you're actually trying to create something. So instead of working with this, I'm going to drag in a different element. 
and select Magic Morph here. And I'm going to type in my prompt to make this heart look like it's a realistic cookie. Let's hit Magic Morph and see what it does. I would say these images are okay. This one to me looks the most like an iced cookie, which wasn't necessarily what I was going for. I think there's a trick to really typing in your prompts because what I was picturing was a chocolate chip cookie. So let me try this again. Okay, these new cookies are like brownie cookies, not really chocolate chip cookies. They're kind of more double chocolate, I guess I would say, but they are pretty realistic looking. And I think this is pretty good. I'm going to give this a B plus. Another interesting tool in Magic Studio is called Magic Animate for your presentations. I'm going to start by creating a presentation. This is just one of their templates. So I'm going to hit the animate button here and select Magic Animate. And what it does is if you select these different styles, it makes your elements animate in in different ways. You can just hover over each of the styles and you'll see that all of the elements build in without you having to individually select them and animate them in. I really like this feature in some situations. I like that, let's say you're giving a presentation and you just hit the button to go to the next slide and everything just kind of comes in and it is a big moment and really attractive looking. However, realistically, if you're giving a presentation and you're talking through bullets, the timing on this isn't really gonna work for you. So I think that this is a great, really fun tool for um, some situations. I just don't think it works for every slide for every presentation. One other tool that Canva says is still coming is a text to video generator. If you guys want to see a video on that, let me know down in the comments. If you can't wait, there are other tools out there like NVIDIA AI, which I will link to down below. There is a free trial on that one, so you can try it out for free if you wanted to. But what do I think about Magic Studio from Canva? As you saw, some of these tools, in my opinion, are a home run, and some of them are just not that useful, at least yet. What's interesting about where we are in this whole like evolution of AI is that these tools are not completely perfected, obviously. I feel like every company is in a rush to get AI technology onto their platforms. And because of that, you know, because of this rush, maybe things are not really ready for the consumer, even though they're rolling them out. I think you saw that with the AI image generator, which was so disturbing, or even the background expander where you could still sort of see the border around my image. But then some things are great. Like I made that fur on that dog curly and it actually really worked. So I think these tools are a little bit hit or miss, but one thing they definitely are is very, very fun. So I can't wait to see how much smarter these AI engines get and more useful they become over time. Maybe we'll revisit Magic Studio in the future. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Did you guys like this video? Let me know in the comments. I picked out some other videos I know you're going to love and I'll see you again.